The 38-country OECD is warning that Russia's war in Ukraine will disrupt commerce and clog up supply chains, slashing economic growth and fueling inflation globally. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development released the grim assessment on Thursday. And it says that over the next year, the conflict would reduce the broadest measure of economic output by 1.08 percent worldwide and by 1.4 percent in the European Union. But the organization says government spending and tax cuts could limit the damage. Meanwhile, the Conference Board of Canada has also come out with its analysis of how the war in Ukraine could economically impact Canada. With us to discuss that study is Mr. Pedro Antunes, Chief Economist at the Conference Board of Canada. Sir, welcome to Forum Daily. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, this war in Ukraine is clearly a humanitarian tragedy, but it also poses significant economic risks to Canada. So tell us a little bit more about the main findings of your recent report on this. Well, I, I think importantly, um, well, as you just mentioned, this is going to have an impact on the global economy. It is going to have an impact on some of our important trade partners. Uh, we don't, in Canadian and Canada, in fact, doesn't have a lot of economic or financial ties directly with Ukraine or with Russia. So we're spared those kind of direct impacts. But I think overall, the most important impact that we're going to feel from this is just this massive hit to uh, global prices, raw material, food prices, and other prices. And that is going to stir up already hot inflation across the world uh, and here in Canada as well. And that will be the major negative repercussion, I think, for most households. They're going to feel much stronger inflation. In fact, we think 1.2 percentage points higher than what would have been in a in a kind of counterfactual world without this war, uh, so that erodes uh, essentially our purchasing power. It takes away, it takes down our consumer spending. It puts pressure on a lot of households, and at the same time, of course, higher inflation means that central banks will fight that with higher interest rates. So that is also going to put pressure on households. On top of this, we're seeing oil and other commodities also experiencing a spike in uh, prices. So tell us a little bit more about the impact on uh, the Canadian resource industry as well, sir. Well, this is where uh, Canada um, has a bit of an offset. Uh, in essence, when we look at the long list of products that uh, the Ukraine and that Russia uh, essentially export to the world, these products are very similar to what can Canada uh, as a whole also produces. So when we think about uh, energy, uh, oil and, uh, um, you know, oil and natural gas, so we're an exporter of those products. Uh, but down the list, uh, nickel, copper, aluminum, uh, potash, and of course, uh, cereals and oil seeds. So all of these things, uh, essentially, because of this global commodity price uh, shock, are going to see a ramp up in, in price. Uh, and that means Canadian producers and exporters will benefit from those higher prices. So in all, when we look at the net impact on Canada's economy, we see it as a, a kind of almost a neutral uh, this year, even a slight positive, if you take a, a look at the benefits from these higher prices to, to our exporters. And at the same time, uh, with these higher oil prices, we're seeing federal and provincial governments increasing revenues. So how would that uh, impact policymakers, sir? Well, I mean, you just mentioned the OECD is calling for uh, more spending to help offset some of this. Uh, that's what we've assumed in the kind of scenario that we've built. Uh, in essence, um, you know, uh, provinces benefit from higher royalty revenues. The federal government will benefit from the profitability of these sectors that I just mentioned. So we do see about 10 billion a year added to each of those levels of government. So provinces uh, and territories on aggregate, we'll see about 10 billion benefit. Uh, the federal government, about a 10 billion benefit as well. And so we say, we think some of that uh, will be re-spent in the economy. And we're already, we've already seen some signs of that, uh, you know, essentially uh, a tax, lightning taxes on gasoline, uh, we've seen some transfers back to households. So this is where it'll add a little bit to that to counter uh, the negative impact on households. All right, sir, just about 45 seconds left here. But where can our viewers go to learn more about this report? Oh, well, thanks for asking. Uh, uh, the Conference Board of Canada, you can find our website easily. Uh, just Google the Conference Board of Canada. All right, Mr. Antunes, thank you again for joining us today on Forum Daily. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.